Good morning everyone. Today we are learn a one tutorial about how to select a default working directory for the Creo Parametric. First of all, we are starting the Creo Parametric. Then go over here, double click on it, and then Creo Parametric is opening. Make sure that whenever you are working in a Creo Parametric, okay. There is a 2.0, 3.0, 5.0, 1.0 and whenever you are making any kind of a part, any kind of a assembly the select working directory is most crucial part for the drawing that means you are drawing all these uh, documents and drawings are saved at one time ok so first there is so many options available over here new, open, yeah there is a third option or fourth option is that select the working directory just click on it Okay, there's a menu over here. Into that menu, there's a vertical, there's a desktop, my documents. Okay, there's a so many kinds. For example, I want to save my working directory over here, my documents. There's so many folders, but uh, I want to make one new folder. That's why I want to make one right click and then this new folder. It's so easy. Now I want to give the name, a directory name. For example, I give the one name, my part file. I want to make one part file. Okay, that's why I'm gonna give the name to part. The directory name it's okay the part time is okay now this is a c user mr a document the part time make it okay that means your working directory is selected now you can save this kind of a part assembly whenever you're doing any kind of thing is saved in your working directory it's so easy you are done this method for 1.0 2.0 3.0 or 5.0 also Thank you.